we're back with another interview video and <clears throat> this time I'm, I'm with a very very patient spirit his name is Gerald um, Gerald has been waiting quite a while <laughs> for me to get around to him um, there are others that have popped up um, some that have been like a special order and um, I always try to get to Gerald uh, at the end of the week and I just run out of time because it, it actually does take quite a while uh, just to to shoot two videos edit them process it. it takes about five hours to do two videos so um, you know you can imagine if I added another one onto that I would basically be recording all day so um, he has been very patiently waiting and I said okay you're at the top of the list Today. So Gerald um, decided to choose this monkey here. <laughs> um, I actually have a more realistic monkey, but uh, Gerald wanted this one. Um, now Gerald, he goes by the name Jerry. He is Irish. Um, and the reason I, I, I even asked that is because when he was designing his pendulum, he actually chose a uh, green um, crystal that looks kind of like a clover. And I said, kind of weird for a guy to choose that. Are you Irish? And he said, yeah. I was like, okay. Um, Jerry has, a, not only is he patient, but he has a, a good sense of humor and a kind of a weird sense of humor. And I was kind of joking with him about the monkey. And I, I said, you know, you didn't even choose the realistic monkey. You, you chose the kind of... I wouldn't say cartoonish, but, uh, um, you know, you, you chose kind of the funny one and, and, you know, we, we, he was like, well, from now on, my name is Gerald Monkey. I'm like, all right, <laughs> that was, if that floats your boat, <laughs> fine. Um, he usually does go by the name of Jerry, but, you know, after all the weeks of kind of like putting him off, I really haven't gotten too, uh, in depth with Jerry. Um, about who he is, where he's from. Um, I did get the sense, kind of like, you know, joking back and forth with him before I started recording. Um, I feel like he's like in his 50s. I want to say he's, Jerry, are you, you're like, you're 58, aren't you? Are you 58? He was like, you nailed that one. So, yeah, uh, he is 58. Hmm. Um, I, he, he has, um, he actually does have the salt and pepper hair, but it's more salt than pepper. Uh, his clothing is kind of, uh, contemporary. It's almost like, is that, is that a blue shirt or is that a denim shirt? It's a denim shirt. Okay. So he's wearing a denim shirt. He's wearing, um... He's wearing blue jeans. You so you're in the Canadian tuxedo. He said, "I'm not wearing the jacket, so it's not the tuxedo." Okay, <laughs> my bad. Um. So he he's a a blue collar worker. How, he he did a lot of work with his hand. He had like really rough hands. I don't see him wearing like a hard hat. I feel like he's. I feel like you're in construction, but you weren't the one doing the construction. Were you like a general contractor? No. Were you a foreman? He was a foreman. I want to say he's from like, maybe around like Chicago or something. I get like Chicago, Wisconsin. Which, which one is it? Wisconsin? Okay.
his sound starts with an L. I know it's not Laramie. Um, it's like an L-A, like Lafayette or something like that. I'm going to have to look it up. Am I on the right track? It starts with an L and an, it's an L-A. And that's in Wisconsin. Okay. Now, were you born and raised there? Okay. And did you basically live there all your life? Yes. Okay. Um, I want to say he was born in... He, I think he was born in the 50s. 56. He was born in 56. That's 1956. Um, let me guess, Gerald. Heart attack or cancer? He had high cholesterol. A blood clot? He had a blood clot, but it wasn't a stroke. So in a way it was, did the blood clot like basically stop your heart? Cause you smoked a lot too. He says he gave it up in his forties, like 47. Yeah, 47, he gave it up. When he was at 47, he gave it up. And, uh, and he said, uh, you know, damage done by that point. You know, he had been smoking for how long? He started when he was 16. 31 years. Are you shitting me? Five packs a day. When did you find time to work? Yeah, you saw where that got you. And you know, the thing about Jerry, um, when I'm listening to him, when I'm talking to him, he's like, he's so practical and down to earth. It's just, you know, he knows, he, he is like the first to admit when he fucks up. Um, he admits his mistakes. Um, he doesn't make any excuses. He never did. He doesn't, you know, um, he's kind of like the buck stops here type of guys. Um, and he, uh. He's very forthcoming. Um, he's got a mouth on him. I think that's an Irish thing, right? We get the mouth on us. Yeah. Um, he has no problem shooting his mouth off. And it's gotten, yeah, yeah, he's gotten punched a few times. Haven't you? You got punched a few. <laughs> He's gotten into some fights. Bar, bar brawls? Yup. <laughs> That's the Irish. <laughs> We're known for our bar brawls. <laughs> we'll start it and we'll finish it. Um. Okay. So, now what about uh, family? I heard a son. Did, was it just the one son? No. No, he had, he had five sons. Was it all with the same mother? 
How many times were you divorced? Gary, in that short a lifespan, really? Now, were you still, okay. He had five wives. Did you have a son with each wife? You were still, but you were still married when you died. So he got divorced four times. I had five. I thought he was saying he got divorced five times, but he was saying he had five wives. Okay. Now, did you own your own business or did you? Oh, a union? Okay. So part of the union deal was that you got some some stock in the company. Okay. He said, I guess technically you could say I own a piece of the company, but I wasn't one of the guys in charge. Meaning like, you know, CEO, CFO. So, yeah, so you got stock options and you have contracts. Okay. Did everybody that, that worked there, uh, all the workers have the options? He said not the grunts. Okay. Okay. He's like man, um, managers, uh, project managers and foremen and stuff. Um, they got the stock options and the contracts, but... Uh, not not the grunts the grunts didn't get it. the grunts got a pay raise but instead of giving them like managerial types a pay raise what they did was they gave them stock options that's how it was negotiated right see i, I don't live i live in florida we're, we're not a union state at all so i'm kind of like learning <laughs> learning about contract negotiations <laughs> okay so um So Gary, what do you, how come you stayed on? What, what do you, what do you want to accomplish? He said, I don't know. He says it just doesn't, doesn't seem right to pass on yet. Um, cause he, he doesn't want to be crossed over. He said that, uh, he said he sees what I'm doing here. Okay, he says, uh, word is out about the witch that can help spirits. And that's how he found me. And he, he was like observing me for a while and seeing what I was doing here. And, you know, because not a lot of people can give spirits options the way that I can. And, you know, he thought about his options for a while and he said that crossing over just didn't seem, it just didn't seem to fit. It didn't seem right. And he said that, uh, he said that he still wants to stay and see what, see what he can do. So it, did you want me to give you like a, a like a power like a yeah so you'd be interested in being a spirit guide okay now there's a couple of different ways to be a spirit guide what kind of um what were you interested in which Like a spirit bouncer. Okay.
So you don't want to be like a portal guardian for um, like the scrying board. You don't want to do that, but okay, he says if somebody takes it upon themselves to do Ouija or go to like haunted locations or, or such, he said that uh, he would go with you and um, keep things from happening to you. That's what he's basically... He's not really a guardian, but he's he's like a spirit filter. He would um, basically push back the spirits that would try to harm you, uh, that were negative. Um, so in, in a way, he's a, a, like a spirit bouncer slash guardian. Um, no, don't say that. He says I'm too dumb a bloke to, to like, he didn't say facilitate, that's my word. He said, um, you know, he's, he's not skilled enough and he doesn't understand it enough to work as like a portal guardian but he does understand uh, how to keep other spirits away how to back them off so that's what he wants to do yeah and he's, you're like right here I got you. Dude, I hear you. Like, we're good. <laughs> you don't have to sneak up on me. We're good. Well, I should say sneak up, but yeah, we're good. Um, because obviously I'm hearing you loud and clear. Yeah. So now, is there is there anything I've omitted that you want me to talk about? No? Okay. Is there anything that you want to say to anybody? He goes, nah. I can hear, now I can hear. I can hear that. That accent. So is there, uh, so I, I mean, are, my Alexa just went off. And I didn't say anything that sounded like it's happened before. It's happened. I mess with my stuff all the time. Um. So, is there there? Uh, is that it? Is that it? We good? Yep. Okay. All right. So that is Gerald. And, uh, I mean, just a regular guy. He's a pretty nice guy, forthright, you know, kind of guy, like, you know, you meet up at the, you, uh, you remember that TV show, uh, Cheers? Uh, it's kind of like sitting next to Norm, basically, you know, you just like, I mean, he doesn't look like Norm, but it's like sitting next to Norm and, you know, just shooting the shit and, you know. Regular guy. Regular blue collar guy. Um, so I guess that's going to be it because Jerry doesn't have anything else to say. So, um, Jerry, thank you for your patience all these weeks hanging in there. And uh, thank you for watching another interview video with me. And I will see you in the next one.